You're listening to Body Light Tales, the podcast for mindful people on the go. Hi, this is Miao Guang. Today's Body Light Tale is life saving. Once upon a time in Taipei, there lived a surgeon named Martin. He had received an invitation to a medical conference in London, so he booked his ticket. But due to the peak season, had to transit via Hong Kong International Airport. As a frequent flyer and a gold status member, the airline had reserved his preferred seat for him. On the day of his flight, Martin had made arrangements with his friend to have a quick catch up before his flight. However, his friend waited for over an hour at Taipei International Airport. Yet Martin was nowhere to be found. As time inched closer to boarding time, Martin's friend became anxious, and thought it unusual for Martin to not show up without a phone call. He tried calling Martin several times, but there was no answer. What had happened was, on the way to the airport, Martin was caught in a traffic jam due to a terrible accident. As Martin's car passed the scene of the accident, he saw that the driver, a lady, was bleeding severely. Martin then asked the taxi driver to stop the car. He exited the vehicle and informed the police officers, "I'm a doctor. Please let me help." At that moment, catching his flight was no longer important to him. All he could think of was how to save the young lady's life. He quickly grabbed a clean cloth and did what he could to stop the bleeding. Soon, the ambulance arrived. However, as her condition was quite unstable, Martin felt he couldn't just leave his patient in her current state, and so decided to accompany her in the ambulance to the hospital and handle the surgery himself. Once the surgical operation was finished, Martin quickly called his friend to apologize and explain what happened. Afterward. He booked himself on the next available flight. By the time he arrived in London, the conference was already halfway over. Since Martin's sole purpose for being in London was the medical conference, he flew back to Taiwan as soon as it ended. Martin's son, Alan, came to pick him up at the airport, and brought along a friend. After hugging his father, Alan said to him, "Dad, I would like you to meet Priscilla. Thank you for saving her life." Martin looked puzzled and confused. So Alan explained, "She is the young lady you saved on your way to the airport." Oh, is that right? It is a pleasure to meet you. I hope you are recovering well. How do you two know each other then? Martin asked. Alan continued. We have been dating for over a year now. Sorry, I never introduced her to you. It is because Priscilla's father does not approve of our relationship. He cannot accept his daughter marrying the son of a doctor, because not long ago. Priscilla's mother fell ill, and was treated by an experienced doctor. However, despite the doctor's best efforts, her mother died. Priscilla's father is still overwhelmed with grief whenever he hears about doctors. However, on the day of Priscilla's accident, it was a matter of life and death, and a doctor saved her life. Your decision to save her had prevented her from becoming paralyzed. I just did what any doctor would do," Martin replied, 
and then turned to Priscilla. I am sorry to hear about your loss. How is your father? My father is very glad that he still has me. That's why I want to thank you. Because of you, my father has overcome his grief and mindset about doctors. He realized that not all doctors are bad. My mother may have lost her life due to a doctor, but it was a doctor who saved mine. My father has even given his blessing to us. I can never thank you enough. If you had not stopped to help, I perhaps would not even be here today," Priscilla said with tears streaming down her cheeks. Extremely touched, Martin hugged Priscilla and said, "All I could think about was to save a life. Who would have thought that the person would be my future daughter-in-law? It was just meant to be." This story highlights that in life, we are bound to encounter heartaches and misfortune. But if we lose hope, feel trapped in misery, or turn selfish, we blind ourselves to good causes and conditions. As a result, we miss out on good outcomes unhoped for. Consider Martin's act of goodness. Though he helped Priscilla out of his resolve as a doctor, he helped his own son and future daughter-in-law. Furthermore, Priscilla's father was able to change his perception of doctors due to the kindness shown to his daughter. If we have a compassionate heart and a mind free from discrimination, we are able to spread compassion throughout the world. We will act selflessly to help those in need, and the ensuing good causes and conditions will bring favorable results. Just as Venerable Master Xingyun says, "To bear good or bad fruit depends on good or bad causes and conditions. Every person is their own gardener. The result of our actions, good or bad." Depends on our good or ill will. As we are the master of our own will, our mind is like a field that produces when fertilized. Generosity is like seeds sown that yield a good harvest. This is Miao Guang. Thank you for listening to Bodhi Light Tales. Subscribe to us and have stories delivered to you every week. May your day be filled with happiness and wisdom.